I am Dr. Shrikanth Apasani, Consultant Gastroenterologist, Advanced Therapeutic Endoscopist, Kim Sikindraban. Today we will be talking about POEM, Paraoral Endoscopic Myotomy, a new treatment modality for achalasia cardia. Achalasia cardia, as we all know, is one of the oldest causes known for, for swallowing problems of the esophagus, where the intestinal neural cells get destroyed and food pipe does not contract properly and patient cannot eat much and the food pipe swollen up forming a large use of agus. The old treatment modalities were using a balloon and blindly dilating it or subjecting the patient for a surgery, Heller's myotomy, where we go and cut the lower usual sphincter. Now with this advanced technology which has come, third space endoscopy, we are able to do the same myotomy which the surgeons do from the hellers with the help of an endoscope. Now what is this and how is it feasible? So third space is a new space which has been created. One space is within the intestine, one space is outside the intestine, first and second spaces. So between these two, within the intestinal wall, we have created a new space which is known as third space. Our intestine has got four layers, musa, mucosa, submucosa, muscle and the serosa. So what we do is we try to separate this mucosa from the muscle and push our endoscope and create a tunnel through the submucosa. That is known as the third space. Now, once the third space is available for procedures, we can do multiple things. We can remove tumors from the third space. We can do muzzle cutting. We can do other uh, cyst removals, etc. from the third space. So, this helps in cutting the muzzle at the lower use vessel sphincter and doing the same work like what the surgeons used to do with the help of Heller's myotomy. That is known as a paraoral endoscopic myotomy. Now, how do we do parallel endoscopic myotomy? We start around 10 cm above the G junction, create a small incision on the mucosa and just try to go inside the submucosa. And from there, we drill a 10 cm long tunnel up to the G junction and in fact, 3 cm beyond the G junction. And then start cutting the muzzle at around 5 cm above the G junction and 2 cm below the G junction. And then after we complete this myotomy, we come back and then we close the area where we have actually entered the mucosa with the help of clips. Now all of this is done only through endoscope and the patient can be discharged the very next day. No major surgical problems will be there. And it's so fast recovery that the patient almost walks away the next day and is able to eat food the very next day. So the advantage of all these endoscopic treatments is that we can do a daycare type of procedure and allow the patient to resume the food intake as early as possible. So this particular paraoral endoscopic myotomy has got a very good success rate. In fact, the success rate of paraoral endoscopic myotomy is more than 95%. The failure rate is very low. Why? Because we actually go precisely see the lower usual sphincter muscle and actually cut it under vision. So this myotomy is as good or in fact slightly better than the Heller's myotomy which the surgeons do. The risks are obviously there because we are entering a special space sometimes in the mediastinum there is some chances of developing infections here and there but practically most of these infections are less than 1%. And in fact there is data right now 5 years, 7 years down the lane that parallel endoscopic myotomy has got a good success rate and the success is persisting for a long time. For most of the achalasias, type 3 parallel endoscopic myotomy is the treatment of choice. Type 1, yes, poem is also good. Type 2, again, balloon dilatation, hellers, and poem all rank the same. But however, provided a choice, I think poem should be offered because it offers precise myotomy for these patients. So any patient of achalasia probably should be treated early. What I would say is these patients need treatment early. We should not wait until the uh, mega use of agus forms and uh, then the treatment probably does not offer much help to these patients. So probably achalasia cardia needs to be diagnosed early with the help of manometry and then treated early, probably with POEM to improve their outcomes after treatment. Now, I would conclude by saying that paraoral endoscopic myotomy, POEM, 
has revolutionized the treatment of achalasia cardia and offers a very good success rate and most importantly with minimally invasive technique and almost simple day care admission with immediate discharge the next day with patient eating or taking the liquid diet almost the very next day.